treat him as a king honor him it is what god keeps that is kept you can be with your husband 24 hours a day and he will still commit adultery so it's not until you watch and watch and watch and watch what did you say where did you go who 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 ministered to you in the hotel was it a hostess or a host what happened you will just have hypertension build your marriage on trust and when you are trusted don't betray the trust don't betray the trust when i speak along this line i always say that there are three things three things inside every man and three things inside every woman number one is a king that wants to reign let your husband reign he's been beaten by the vicissitudes of life by all kinds of things when he comes into the house let him meet a loving wife let him meet a word that has been waiting to receive him as a woman pamper your husband look for pet names for your husband stop abusing him stop calling him daddy olu that is a bush name before those children before those children came he's been a darling to you after those children will leave, he will still remain a darling. Look for a beautiful name for your husband. Didi, sweetie, honey, you know. After today, start it. If your husband says, we've been married for 10 years, what is all this? Tell him, we are just starting now. We're just starting. Same thing with the husband. Pamper your wife. Inside every woman, there is a queen. Address your wife that way. Stop shouting at her. At such a time like this, apart from the kingdom of God, you being a blessing to the kingdom of God, you must be a blessing in your home. If as a man, when you arrive, everybody is running helter skelter, then you are the lion of the tribe of your family. He's coming, he's coming, put on the TV, that is coming, put it off, put it off. Something is wrong. You are a boss, you are a tiger. You are not a leader. People should be happy when daddy comes. If daddy is telling me and daddy says I'm going to spend one week, I'll be away for one week. Oh no, daddy, please, three days. But if you say you are spending one week and they say, can't they extend it to two and a half weeks? <laughs> that means when you are not home, there is peace. Treat your husband like a queen. I've said it here before. Every day I greet my husband to, you know, I kneel down to greet him and I call him all kinds of names, all kinds of names. When is when my telephone rings and it is my husband, you will hear, Oh, no, me. Oh, need to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are not, you are too worldly. <laughs> His ringtone is different. And you hear me call him, May you live long ago, my own king. The man too is happy where he is. So he likes calling me every time because he knows what he will hear. At such a time like this, you must be an award-winning husband or award-winning wife. You must be missed when you are away. It's important for you to celebrate one another and to build your homes. Look at the, your children. If you want to know the kind of, of marriages your children will have, just take a good look at your own. Because children don't have eject button. They see you as their perfect example. But when you look at your husband, you call him all kinds of names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even without speaking, that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is enough. You shout at her, are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you this? Come on, go there. When Reverend called husband, you two, you came out in church last Sunday. You two, eh? You two, you came out. And your children are there and they are wondering. They are wondering. That man needed a wife that would respect him, not a Vashti. And there are many vastes today, they have been dethroned, and Esthers are taking their places. May that not be your portion. Inside every husband, there is a little boy that wants to play. When last did your husband put pillow his head on your laps? When last? You are so busy, 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 busy cooking. Two hours, you are still cooking in the kitchen. Your husband is watching the news. You are sweating, you are, you know, everything. Sometimes you will even tie a wrapper around your breast to make it floppy. And when, when guests are coming, you go and change. But when your husband is at home, who cares? Take a little, a little fish, put it in your mouth. While you are cooking, come out. 
What is on your own side? Mm -hmm. A lot of African marriages, romance has grown wings and flown out of our marriages. Church, sex, business, office. Church, sex, business. That's all. When last did you hold your wife's hand? You will see, you will see brother, he's a deacon in church with his big Dex Bible. Under his armpit, he's going to church. The wife is, is coming along. Your wife returns from the salon. You can't even look at her and say, how lovely. See my dove. You are lost in the book of Habakkuk. <laughs> from there, you move to the book of Zephaniah. <laughs> because Reverend Sam told you that you'll be leading the ushers department, you know, for the next one year. Come down a little from cloud nine and touch your wife psychologists have told us that a woman needs 13 meaningful touches per day meaningful not just sexual meaningful tickle your wife touch her give her a peck my husband is a bishop he pastors thousands of people he still puts me he carries me on his back and flings me around i feel good i feel very good one day I noticed that it's been a long time since he carried me like that. So I said, hello darling, I need to take one heart from, you know, I keep my heart on the wardrobe. So I said, he should lift me up. He lifted me. I needed the green heart. I found it. I said, push me up again. <laughs> push me up. He said, have you not found it? I said, push me a little inside. <laughs> when last did you lift your wife up? Some of you, since your wedding day. That was the last time you he said she's so fat now if you can't lift her up put her a little let her, her legs be you know be dragging at least let her feel it and some of you women i hope singles won't hear this when last did you suck did you allow your husband to suck your breasts you say pastor funke you are not holy at all i am very holy <laughs> satisfy your husband sexually if not 100 women are waiting outside to satisfy him you are looking at me strangely. Don't you suck your wife's breasts? Why are you pretending? Because Reverend Sam is here. Come on, give the Lord a big hand.